Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be closing down my budget for week one of April. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are back for our first weekly check-in of the month. I do hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. Okay guys, so we are back for another weekly check-in. It's the first week of April. So many things have happened already. I have had to send my car to be fixed at the garage. I've had insurance problems. I've had Etsy problems. It's been a bit of a nightmare to say the least. So yeah, um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I already knew it was gonna be a heavy month because a lot of my sinking funds, or a few of my sinking funds, their goal dates were within April. So I was going to see quite a large reduction in money from my savings. But I mean, that's what they're there for, guys. It isn't like I was holding on to it. I knew that I was saving for a particular bill or a particular date within that department. But it just seems like my savings are going to be hit a lot harder than I expected them to, especially with the car situation. So I'm going to put down my expense stickers and then I'll talk you through exactly what's been going on. So my first expense that I'm putting down are for groceries and I've stayed just within budget. So this was on the first that I went shopping. I've stayed just within budget guys, um, 49 pounds and 68 pence was spent. And then in terms of household, my household expense sticker is hair and I spent the full 10 pounds. But yeah, I'm loving this colour scheme. Do you guys like it? I really am enjoying this colour. I think it's so beautiful. So those are my two expense stickers. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can actually see. And then I've got my fuel expense sticker. So I'm putting down... I had to use £20 on the second which was the friday so i put 20 pounds in my car on the friday but i then had to put another 15 pounds on the tuesday because my daughter has recently gone back to training so she's training where she usually trains now again and um, it means that I've had to be taking her back and forward with that. So I've been doing quite a lot of driving in the last week. It's so funny, June turn time, no driving. June holidays, loads of driving. So yeah, I've been quite busy with that. And then the last expense sticker I have is for utilities. So utilities, I put 40 pounds worth of gas and electricity on the second as well so yeah those are all of my expense stickers done guys i'm just so grateful that certain things are have been in alignment and i'm in some ways i have been prepared for what has happened so i'll start with my car i did have it taken in for service and um they said to me that there were some advisory things to do like um brake discs and brake pads would need to be changed within the next few weeks so i was saving up the money into my car maintenance envelope to get that done by the end of this month. But there was a noise coming from the car. Now, that noise was there. It was very, very quiet, but it was coming from the car before I had the service done. So I just presumed anything that kind of was picked up from the service would be to do with the noise. And lo and behold, they told me that there were these advisory things to do. So I just presumed, okay, once I get the advisory things done, they'll be fixed, sorted, that's it. But the noise, started to get really, really loud. So I was thinking I need to hurry up and save this money so I can get the car fixed. And then I took it to the garage. I took it to someone who I know and he said to me that it isn't the brake discs and brake pads, it's something else. So I was like, okay, what is it? He said that it is actually something called a timing belt and the water pump. So I thought to myself, okay, but I'm sure those things were checked on the checklist when I had the service done. And obviously they were, and I was told that they were fine. Yet still, I was told that other things needed to be done that 
obviously in hindsight now were not that important. So lucky I didn't actually go ahead with the garage that I'd had the service done because that money would have been wasted on things that were not really important in comparison to the timing belt and water pump. Apparently if I'd left it for any longer guys, my engine would be kaput. There was literally no water in my coolant tank at all. So to cut a long story short, I've been quoted over £500 for this work to be done and he has also agreed that the brake disc and brake pads do need to be done as urgently as the other garage told me, so I need to pay for that as well. So we're looking at close to £1,000 worth of work for this car. If you've watched my previous video, I'm close to the £200 mark for my car maintenance envelope. I've got £500 in my emergency fund and I've also got a little bit of money in my emergency fund envelope, but it looks like all of that money is going to be gone, guys. So it's taught me a couple of lessons. It's taught me that I need to put more money to one side for emergencies. Um, the £1,000 target that I had is just eliminated, it's gone. I need a lot more in there now and I'm telling you this story because I'm just trying to inspire and share so that you guys do not make the same mistakes that I do and for sure for sure for sure you do need to put more money if you are a car owner a homeowner you need to put more money in an emergency fund than a thousand pounds that's my opinion but anyway um, car insurance I'll tell you another day but I've had a bit of a nightmare with that too. I've had to find another provider. It's been a very expensive week. Very, very expensive week, guys. Um, but yeah, I do hope you guys are having a better time. And yeah, let's see how these numbers look in our weekly check-in. So I'm checking in from the 1st until the 7th of April. And at the beginning of the week, I put £50 into my grocery envelope and I spent 49 pounds and 68 pence so we have 32 pence <laughs> remaining but it's such a small amount I'm going to leave it in my purse until next week and then add it to any change I might have from that week and put it into my savings jar um, but yeah I'm not going to bother with adding it to this week's stuffing um, fuel is next and I added 35 pounds at the beginning of the week and I spent the full amount and I haven't done that for quite a while um, on purpose <laughs> so yeah um, we do not have any money remaining in that envelope and I keep saying envelope but it's divider in terms of utilities utilities I had 40 pounds at the beginning of the week and we used the full amount so we don't have any money left there and on budgeted expenses, so far I haven't had to use any money that isn't budgeted, but um, that may change over the next few days. It looks like there'll be quite a large amount of unbudgeted expenses coming out of my budget this month, guys. So yeah, those are all of my dividers checked in. But yeah, I've got all of my dividers here with me and as you can see, we do not have any money behind any of them, but I'm so, in love with these dividers guys they are gorgeous they go so well with my april kit and yeah i just love them so much so i thought i'd show you them even though we don't have any money behind them to add to our dits noble envelope okay so i can now finally come in and tick off all of my expense stickers so these bills and expenses have already been tracked and i can put down my no spend stickers I'm gonna enjoy it this week because I don't know when this will happen again, but so far for April, it is a whitewash. Okay, so that is all done. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.